there's a very simple process to batting. First thing, we need to get our fundamentals right, right? So that means how we stand, set up, play forward, play back, because any shot in the book is basically an extension of the front foot defense or the front foot, back foot defense, any shot. If you can do those two right correctly, then batting will become easier. So getting the fundamentals right is the first part. Second part is picking length. So when to go forward and when to go back. So that comes with a lot of practice after your fundamentals are nailed. So when will I know that someone's fundamentals are nailed? It is like asking someone their name. If you ask someone their name at eight o'clock in the morning, if that's Raj at 12, it's not going to change. It's going to be Raj. At six o'clock in the evening, it's going to be Raj. Midnight, wake them up from sleep, ask, it's going to be Raj. So the same response to the same question. So if the ball is in the same place, it plays the same shot, which he has been programmed by that time. So that is understanding that this guy's fundamentals are nailed. He can come forward to a full ball or a length ball and go back to a short ball. After that comes length picking. Length picking means he can go forward or back, not on drills, but when bowlers are actually bowling. That's the second part. Third part comes a lot of different bowlers with different actions on different wickets. Not just hitting balls on the bowling machine and hearing good shot, what a shot. No. Different surfaces, different balls, different bowlers, different angles. Can you pick length and can you back time? That's the third part. After that comes the last part, which is once the first three are done, playing matches against different opposition, different wickets, different conditions. That's how you become a batsman. I hear a lot, this guy has done really good in age group cricket, means nothing. At 12 years under 12 cricket, you have done really well, doesn't mean you're good. At 12, you've done well against under 16s, that means there's a chance you're good. At 12, meaning you've done well in under 12 cricket, means you're not horrible, that's it. It's not, you're good, you're not very bad. So we need to get that right before we pump up players saying he's brilliant or she's brilliant. There's a difference. And once they understand that, it's a lot easier to coach them rather than saying, oh, great shot, when they've just tried to muller everything, have no base, no fundamentals, get runs in Mickey Mouse cricket and think they are cricketers. They are not.